So straight away upon opening the uh, package, I found a little bag of goodies, primarily including test tubes, but the main thing that we need to worry about is this little uh, axle key, which will come in very, very useful um, a later time in this video. So just your normal standard hexagonal axle key. And taking some of the old styrofoam pieces away, we reveal the actual product that I bought, which is a ant home. So uh, this is a product from Ant Kit, which I really, really like the look of. So I, de I decided to buy. And yeah, this is the review. So straight away, even before we've taken off the bubble wrap, we, we are presented with a really, really nice looking product. But um, now that we've taken it off, oh, just look at it. Doesn't it look nice? This is composed primarily of two parts. The uh, upper uh, part, or the foraging arena, which we'll look at in a second, and the bottom part, which is a uh, red covered, so shielded for light, nest area, but not the traditional ones that we usually have. It's actually quite interesting. The uh, arena is actually larger than I actually expected it to be, and it has two viewing um, perspectives uh, from either side which is made of very very nice acrylic the whole thing i'm not entirely sure but i think is uh, made of acrylic as well so there were there is one entrance down which goes all the way into this sort of uh, locking point down here so you see the hole goes right down into this so uh, this comes out into a test tube adapter for the standard ANK kit uh, test tube.
I, with the help of a friend, was now going to move the colony into the setup. They were all in the test tube, everything was good except two. So we had to just dunk those uh, into the at home just with a little piece of paper. So we didn't harm them at all, don't worry. It was now time to move the colony in, and once all of them were in there, there were more of them than I previously thought, maybe about 30, which is amazing since I thought that they were almost at 20 and struggling. However, I began to notice a small clutch of eggs, which you in the video can't really see, but uh, upon later inspection when they were fully moved in, they indeed did have a very big clump of eggs. So, hopefully, the future for uh, our 5th Legion, our Mesa Barbarus, is looking up. <laughs>